What's so great about people digging stone? Uh, people will watch this. They've watched it before. I've watched it sometimes. <clears throat> Oh man. So, Greg, how does it feel entering the world of Let's Playing? Um, well, try not to think about it because otherwise I'd probably be nervous to have to know that my voice is going to be online. That was probably my biggest thing when I was making that um, to buy a computer and or to build it video. Mm -hmm. I was too focused on, on the fact that uh. countless people could see it if they really wanted to mm -hmm. and not really focused on what I was saying. And um, I guess I'm just not used to this type of yeah. stuff. Well, I can tell you, after uh, three and a half years... A thousand videos and three thousand subscribers. A thousand videos. Yeah, a thousand videos and over three thousand subscribers now. I've gotten quite, quite used to doing this. Well, congratulations for reaching that number. Why, thank you. This is almost as much of a job as my real job. I think sometimes. As uh, long as you enjoy it. Yeah, I go through my laziness periods, as anyone who's watching this knows. You know, but. You know, I, I do like uploading stuff for people to watch. Oh, man. Um, diggy, you know, diggy, I, diggy. I guess if I, if I really sat down and focused on, the, on my website, that would also be a full-time job. Mm-hmm. It's probably true. It's just not something I can really focus on, though, since I have a family. Yeah, a lot going on. Alright, oop, here comes gravel. I've once nearly killed myself with gravel. Yes, it's something that definitely does happen, and it definitely does suck. We're going to have so much material for um, our, uh, our projects. Well, the thing is that this, it looks like a lot, but once you start building, it really isn't. It's true. For our castle, we're seriously going to need probably three times, uh, three of these rooms, if not closer to six. Yeah. One other thing I forgot that I wanted to start was a reed farm, and those are so easy and so fast to grow. Yeah. Reed farm and watermelons are so fast. Um, it's the wheat that's slow as hell. In order to have a truly efficient wheat farm, you have to have a shit ton of wheat. In my smoothie world, I have, let me think about this, 16 times 8, 128 wheat plants in my main farm. Damn. So, pretty much, I've got wheat covered in that world. Yeah, I have a lot of wheat. Basically, my problem is, in my one world, I have two main locations. Um, mm -hmm. I have one where I spawned. Not uh -huh. right where I spawned, but... Nearby. Same basic location. And uh, I also have a main location in... Um, in the desert biome. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. The pro that, that just means that I have a lot of the main farms and stuff in two separate locations instead of just one, and it's kind of annoying. Yes. Well, nice. That was my very first world. I spent the most time in it, and I... I actually am very proud of it. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily wonderfully aesthetic or something. It's just something I'm happy with. Yes. So what do you want to do now, Ian? Do you want to start terraforming? Hmm. 
You mean Sorry, for a castle? Ow! Ah, skeleton! Die! Alright, killed him. So when you say terraforming... Well, basically, I was interested in knowing where we wanted to build this castle, because I think, in all honesty, that this is a prime location. The trees need to go away. Some of these hills need to go away. You know what we should do? We should create a, we should create a map. I actually never really used maps. I think that they're... Um, ooh, it's raining. Alright, I'm just uh, gonna... The reed farm is gonna be very informal. I'm just gonna put some reeds along here. And later. once they grow, we're gonna be able to... I think a map is useful just for seeing the general lay of the land. That's true. We have now have string. One thing of string. I think there's a couple in a uh, chest. But anyway, um, I'm really liking the idea of making the castle here. I, I'm Oops, a really I'm strong believer in that. But if you want, we can... Mm -hmm. I don't know where you um, traveled. I don't know what you've seen so far. Well, I went that way. Okay. Along the uh, coast. We kind of need to go that way now. I think that the castle would be good in this area. I just want to find the best overall location within this area to put the castle, you know what I mean? I see. I mean, <clears throat> right well, where we're standing is a good possibility, but, you know... I'm with you. I'll show you um, what I think is best. All right. Okay. I'm following you. I think that right here is our best bet. And then we flatten the land from this, from this level right here. We mm -hmm. flatten it out to the ocean, taking out all these trees and stuff. That'll give us a very, very large area. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when we go up here, we have plenty of room for a tree farm, um, mm -hmm. and this can remain this high. Sounds good. Let's just really quickly, maybe you can come with me. Hello. Hello. Bone. I just don't know what's over here, and I think maybe if we come over here, maybe we'll see something even better. Oop, I see more reeds. I'm going to harvest those. I see a crap load of pigs. Hello, piggy. I really think where we were is best. I really do. Oh, man. I need to drink something one moment. All right. Oh, there is the beginning of the snow forest over there. Good. I can see it from the top of this tree. Are you on far render distance? Yes, in that direction. Oh, and there's an entrance to a cave system <coughs> over here. Spawning in very slowly because chunks are still uh, developing mm -hmm. right now, as you probably understand. But over here is where I told you that big harbor was. Alright, I'm not over there anymore. I kind of got sidetracked, and now I don't even know where I am. Okay, we're not too far from each other. But over here I'm is just walking along the coast trying to find on my way back. But over here is a nice big harbor. Good. And there's a good possibility for us. Oh man. Okay, good thing I wrote the coordinates down. I think I'm going to start um, flattening and cutting down and just basic terraforming. Oh, hello. I found what? you once again. Oh, you found me. Hi. Hello. Axe. There is a large number of squids over there. Yep. 
ink. Yes. If we ever we need could ink. Could walk through each other? I don't think so. It's possible though. All right. Oof. Well, it's time for me to collect some of this wheat. Some of it's mature now. Well, I'm not going to turn any of it into bread yet. I'm just going to replant it. Well, actually, no. We got bread. We got wheat. What I mean is, um, oh, we should also designate an area for a pasture. <clears throat> um, we can actually do that inside the castle when it's done. Okay. Well, we should make an area that's going to be inside the castle and declare that to be our pasture, because... Yeah. I'm just going to start really quickly um, clearing out some of those trees, and then we can see better what we want to do. Oh, when that right. whole area is flat, then we'll be able to really get into that. You know what I mean? Yeah, the more, the sooner we get our animal farm, you know, we'll have unlimited, we'll have unlimited wool, for one thing. We'll also have pretty much unlimited pork and um, uh, steak. And we find chickens, we can breed chickens for feathers, for arrows. And eggs. And eggs, yep. I like this area, I really do. It's just that this is going to be one hell of an undertaking. We don't have to worry about leveling too much, I think, because... I, I actually really prefer having a very flat surface to build the castle, and since I want this castle to be really... The yes, well, the main levels of the castle can be somewhat elevated over the ground. Yeah, yeah, and it will be. Hmm. Now, hmm. I'm wondering this area that's largely flat now, up here, might be good. Might be a good area for a pasture. Die. Knock you down. Should we mention what software we're using to be able to communicate with each other? Yeah, that's always helpful. Want to go into that? Well, we are using Skype to talk to one another. Just yeah. like... <clears throat> and then I created a, a, a VPN uh, virtual whatever network um, using um, Hamachi, mm -hmm. I believe that it's called. Yeah. Um, we are using Frat to create um, this video. Uh huh. And I don't know what sort of coder you're using. I'm going to be using a Vitamux, or AVI Dmux, as most people call it. I found an apple. Yay. Ooh. All right. So, okay, a few more of the wheats have become mature. You can tell that it's getting to be more morning over here. Sun actually came out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I swear I'm living in London because it's it rains so much. Well, northern Germany is similar climate. It's really, really, really rainy most of the time. Mm -hmm. But I love it. Indeed. I remember from being over there, it wasn't a matter of if it was going to rain, it was a matter of, like, when and how much. Yep. That's pretty much it. So, you don't question whether you should bring your umbrella or not, you just bring it. You just bring it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I have three pieces of bread already.